Hello, lovely librarians. Uh, my name is Sean Hewitt, and I am speaking to you from Dublin in Ireland. I wanted to tell you about my forthcoming memoir, which is called All Down Darkness Wide, and is coming out with Penguin Press this summer on the 12th of July. It's a book about growing up and navigating sexuality as a queer man. It's a book about what we inherit and what we might make for ourselves in our lives. It's a book, importantly, I think, about love and its challenges, uh, both our love for other people and our love for ourselves. It moves across three different centuries, it moves across many different countries, and it's haunted by a number of ghosts. Um, so in some ways, it's a book about discovery, about the other world of history and the other world of ourselves. I thought I would read to you from the very opening of the book, just to give you a flavour of it. The book starts off in a cemetery in Liverpool in the northwest of England. The oratory of St James's Cemetery in Liverpool has no windows along the whole length of its outer walls. Only a long rectangular skylight, its leaded panes half mossed over lets the winter sun reach down and touch the white marble statues staring blankly inside. A mortuary chapel, but long closed up, its coffered ceiling and tall carved columns are mostly in shadow. Years ago, as the great homes of the city were pulled down stone by stone, the monuments of proud families Monuments of terracotta and marble and bronze were hoisted here and locked away. And so the wealth of the city, wrenched from far off lands and furnished from blood, was hidden and so forgotten. And as the years went by, other things were hidden too. Some, like the terrace slums of the poor and their wash houses, were raised. Others, the orphanages and workhouses, the asylums and homes for the destitute, were emptied one by one, turned by sharp-suited businessmen into flats or bars or restaurants, where the names of the dead, engraved in plaques on newly pointed walls, were the climbing holds of a city once again dragging itself up out of its own grave. And so the churches and the crypts were closed, and the docks shut down, and the shackles shipped and left on other shores, and the subterranean tunnels and the catacombs were filled in with stones, and the quarry was planted with oaks and with sycamores and with the bodies of the dead. And it was in this way that the ghosts of the city were parcelled off, ushered from the streets into derelict buildings, made to stand in exhibition cases, hurried into the pages of books and diaries, and folded away. For, after all, ghosts can only live in the darkness, and once the dark places are closed up, their cast iron locks bolted fast. It is easy for those who do not live with them to pretend that ghosts do not exist at all. All Down Darkness Wide is also a book about the power of literature, the power of consolation, of finding a fellow traveller uh, on the lonely road of life. And libraries have always been a place for me where I've found refuge, where I have found many co-travellers on that lonely road. Uh, and so I wanted to say thank you uh, for all the work you do. And it gives me such a thrill to know that someone might come into a library and pick up All Down Darkness Wide and hopefully find me as a fellow traveller uh, and you yourselves. Uh, so thank you very much for listening and I hope you and your patrons enjoy All Down Darkness Wide uh, when it comes out on the 12th of July with Penguin Press. Thank you.